Well, let's go to developments inside Ukraine. The Ukrainian authorities say Russia fired eight missiles at a city in the south of the country, killing three people in a residential building. It comes as President Zelensky released CCTV of the moment a missile exploded in a shopping center in Kremenchuk. Eighteen people were killed in that attack on Monday. Mr. Zelensky said that was a deliberate strike designed to kill as many people as possible. Russia denies that it hit the shopping center, claiming it had struck a nearby arms depot, which ignited the fire. Our correspondent Joe Inwood is in Kyiv and has the latest. So these denials by Russia have come about ever since the attack that killed at least 18 people at this shopping center in Kamenchuk. They've said variously that it wasn't them. They've said that it was a provocation deliberately done by the Ukrainians. And then they said that they were targeting a nearby facility where ammunition was being stored and that that set off a chain reaction of fire that led to the burning down of the Amstor shopping centre. Well, in the last few hours, President Zelensky's office has released CCTV that shows that none of those excuses are true. You can quite clearly see a missile, a Russian missile, coming in and destroying a shopping centre. And as I said, it's cost many lives. It is hard to deny. This CCTV footage clearly shows the missile that struck a shopping centre in Kramenchuk in mid-flight. Compare that to the Russian version of events. Detonation of stored Western weapons and ammunition caused a fire, the spokesman says, in a nearby non-functioning shopping mall. But analysis of the footage by open source investigators has proved it was a direct hit on the Amstor complex. The tower and container can be seen here and here on recent satellite imagery. The shopping centre is visible in both. There are a number of other features identified by the investigators. President Zelensky maintains it was a terrorist act. The Russian missile hit this location precisely, deliberately. It is clear those were the orders given. They wanted to kill as many people as possible in a peaceful city in an ordinary shopping mall. As the cleanup continues, the remnants of destroyed shops are everywhere. As well as denying it was a missile responsible for this devastation, Russia also claims the center was not in use when it struck. The number of victims suggests that is not true. It's terrible beyond words. How many people were there? It was rush hour. People were returning from work, lots of shops. There were always a lot of people in Omstor. The British Ministry of Defence has since said there is a realistic possibility the missile was intended to hit a nearby infrastructure target, but missed, with devastating consequences for the people of Kremenchuk. In this war, Russia has often been accused of lying. Rarely has it been so clearly demonstrated. Joe Inwood, BBC News, Kyiv. Joe, what's the feeling in Kyiv as announcements are coming out of the NATO summit? I think they're going to be really quite pleased. They've been big fans or big enthusiasts for both NATO enlargement. Of course, many people here want to join NATO themselves, although that's not really uh, on the cards. What they do say they want is more financial support, more military support, more diplomatic support. Of, of course, the situation is really quite desperate for Ukraine at the moment. They really need more heavy weaponry, they say. Things in the East are not necessarily going their way, and I think a lot of the reason for that is a lack of artillery. So that's what they're really going to be hoping is going to come out of this summit.